Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. Microsoft Windows version 1.0 to Windows 11. Today, 90% of personal computers and 70% of network computers worldwide use Microsoft's Windows versions. No other software has ever achieved such widespread acceptance and adoption. Microsoft released Windows 1.0, the first graphical user interface GI, operating system, on November 20, 1985. At that time, Interface Manager was the name of the project. It was renamed to a more acceptable name, Windows at the time of final release. It has been 36 years since Microsoft launched the first version of Windows. We are going to look at how Windows generations have evolved throughout the years while we count down the days to Windows 11. Windows 1.0 The most important feature of Windows 1.0 was the transition from Microsoft Disk Operating System MS-DOS, to a GUI. Instead of using MS-DOS commands, you could use the mouse to click anywhere on the screen, the scroll bar and the icons making Windows 1.0 an easy-to-use operating system. Windows 1.0 was released with many new applications that we currently use today. Some of these are Paint, Notepad, and Calculator. Windows 2.0 The next version, Windows 2.0, was released in 1987. In addition to an easier-to-manage interface, the memory management was excellent. This new version also included the first version of popular software, MS Word, and MS Excel. Naturally, the second version gained more acceptance than the first version. Windows 3.0 to 3.1 launched in 1990, Windows 3.0 included several changes to the graphics and virtual memory. Windows 3.0 had an improved program manager, icon system, and a new file manager. Windows 3.0 gained widespread support and many developers started writing Windows-compatible software, giving end-users a reason to buy Windows 3.0. Just two short years later, Microsoft released Windows 3.1. This was the first version of Windows to enable TrueType fonts, screen savers and drag-and-drop operations making this version of Windows indispensable. Windows 95. In 1995, Microsoft released Windows 95 which boosted the popularity of both Windows and Microsoft. Windows 95 was released as a full operating system and didn't include any influence of MS-DOS. Windows 95 was so popular that even consumers without a home computer purchased copies of the program. Not only did the latest version include a very user-friendly interface with a start button and taskbar, but it also included an integrated TCP, IP stack, dial-up networking, and long file name support. Windows 98 Next on the list in 1998 was Windows 98. This version introduced Microsoft's Internet Browser built-in, Internet Explorer 4, and supported new input devices like USB. Windows 98 could also search for and manage files easily and read DVDs. Many new features and a sleek new design, built around changes from the smartphone era, make this one of the most significant updates in the OS's history. Windows 2000, a renamed version of Windows NT, this release was a milestone for Microsoft's enterprise market. With added speed and stability, it was aimed at large businesses and was able to run on the same hardware as Windows 98. Windows 2000 shipped in four different editions, Professional, Server, Advanced Server, and Data Center Server. Some of the new features that were supported were Active Desktop, USB, NTFS 3.0, and FAT32. The inclusion of DirectX support made Windows 2000 compatible with many modern computer games. Windows ME Windows Millennium Edition ME, was released in the later part of 2000 as an upgrade to Windows 98. This version was aimed at home users for more personal use and included features such as Windows Media Player 7 and Windows Movie Maker. Windows ME also received some features from Windows 2000 including System Restore which allowed you to restore your operating system to a previous state in the case of a virus attack. Windows XP In 2001, Microsoft introduced Windows XP. This was the most popular version of Windows. Microsoft moved away from their plain grey color scheme and introduced blues and greens. This version offered better multimedia support and increased performance symbolizing the innovative experiences that Windows can offer to personal computer users. 
Windows Vista. More than five years later, in 2007, the longest gap between releases, Microsoft introduced Windows Vista. It contained many changes and new features, including an updated graphical user interface, a redesigned search function, multimedia tools including Windows DVD Maker, audio, print, and display subsystems. Windows 7 Windows 7, released in 2009, introduced a more refined look and trimmed down user interface. This version of Windows became the most popular desktop and laptop operating system for the next 11 years. This version contained major changes to the desktop, folders and icons. It focused on multi-touch support, a redesigned Windows shell with a new taskbar, referred to as the Super Bear, a home networking system called Home Group, and performance improvements. Windows 8 Dot and Windows 8.1 Windows 8 was released in 2012 and could be used on smartphones and tablets. The start button was removed, and the UI had been designed around touchscreen devices. One of the biggest problems with Windows 8 is that it took you right to the start screen every time the PC finished the startup process. As part of the Windows 8.1 update, Microsoft introduced a boot to desktop option for users who simply weren't going to use modern UI or who preferred to see the standard Windows desktop. It is where most users will do most of their work. Interestingly enough, the options for this are connected to the taskbar and not to your desktop, personalization, or display options. To get to these, right-click your taskbar, click Properties and then choose the Navigation tab. Here, you'll see a great many Windows 8.1 options, including the option to replace the Start screen with the All Apps view. Take note of this tab and this dialog box. You're likely going to become very familiar with the options here as you try to figure out the best set of navigation options for you. This is one of the biggest advantages of Windows 8.1 over Windows 8. If your PC doesn't have a touch interface and you aren't going to be using it as a lean-back device, a tablet-like, content consumption device, then you may want to give serious consideration to using boot to desktop. Using this, along with options like the All Apps view go a long way to hiding modern UI elements from users who really won't make use of them. Windows 10 in 2015, Windows 10 was released. New features included a new start menu and user interface, multi-factor authentication security, compressed system files, the introduction to Microsoft Edge and more. The start menu was reintroduced in Windows 10 after Microsoft received backlash for removing it from Windows 8. Windows 10 can run on both desktop computers and tablets. This system recognizes the device you are using and adjusts the user interface accordingly. Windows 11, the newest version of Microsoft's operating system will be released on October 5th. One of the many new features included changes to the Start menu and Start button, both now being centered. You are able to download and run Android apps on your PC, and Live Tiles is a new feature that lets you quickly return to the app you were using. Many new features and a sleek new design, built around changes from the smartphone era, make this one of the most significant updates in the OS's history.